What's up guys, Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. Today we're going to be delving into the importance of staying lean and its massive impact on attraction and how much you can improve your appearance simply by getting as lean as possible, within reason of course. So we're gonna delve into some uh, celebrity transformations. The difference between them, especially in their faces when they gain a significant amount of body fat, it's night and day in terms of how attractive they are. I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how much of a difference it can really make. Now the first example, and one of the most obvious examples I feel like is Christian Bale. Christian Bale is someone who has gone out of his way to make some insane body transformations over the course of his career for roles, whether that be getting literally fat on purpose or getting extremely malnourished level of skinny he's gone from the top to the bottom and just looking at him from in vice in 2018 you can see just how much of a difference his face has compared to what you would expect most of us remember him uh from batman or american psycho at least that's when i where i remember him from the most and looking at him in some of the movies he's done where he's gained weight intentionally it's nearly unrecognizable and granted in vice i believe they did they add makeup as well as like literal physical fake skin to make bulk up the face but just looking at the before and afters it's pretty blatantly obvious what kind of a difference there is in this guy's face and the overall sex appeal that it has like looking at him playing dick cheney in vice would you even recognize him as christian bale i wouldn't unless somebody told me to be honest and looking at him in american hustle it's less indicative of what kind of like maxing out it's still an example of what fat can do to your face to be honest like if you look at his face in some of the interviews he's done where he's you know bulked up on purpose it's all of his features are shrouded his neck pretty much like blends into its into his chin there's no you know visible chiseled features whatsoever the jawline's completely gone and you can almost not even tell it's the same guy and going to the extreme far other end of the spectrum obviously everyone wants to think oh you know just get as lean as possible obviously there's a level where it's just malnourished and unhealthy looking and christian bale is one of the only people people who has this hyper you know specific example where he's gone from literally obese on purpose to malnourished level of skinny for a role and if you look at him in the machinist you can clearly see what going over the line looks like when you're depriving yourself of calories and in some cases you know leaner is not always better in general people will say leaner is better better and i will say as a general rule of thumb it is too, just because most people aren't going to get to this point. But I suppose it should be said that getting to the point where you look like Bale did in The Machinist, this is overkill and is where you kind of get to, you're doing more harm than good at this point. Not only are you depriving yourself of nutrients you need to survive, but your face just looks gaunt and like you have some sort of disease at this point. So obviously there is a way of going too far and the happy medium I think is probably him in American Psycho as you see in this or in Batman he has not a high level of body fat at all he's lean he's very lean but it's just a healthy enough amount of body fat to you know maintain I'm assuming a high level high quality of life without feeling like you're starving all the time but you still have chiseled features and that's the most important thing that you want to retain ideally year round you don't want to be an unhealthily you know low level of body fat but you don't want to be so high that your abs are blurred to the point that they're no longer visible and you have fat shrouding your facial features and Bale showing this happy medium in American Psycho as well as in Batman I feel like are great examples examples of just what kind of effect just literal eating habits are going to have on how attractive your facial features are so looking at him in the hyper polar opposite sides of the spectrum where he is obese versus malnourished you can see the happy medium in the middle and that's kind of what you want to shoot for to maximize attraction you can see just how much of a difference it makes i don't really need to elaborate on how much better his face looks Another good example is Tom Cruise. If you look back at Mission Impossible 1, 
back in 1996. Obviously, lean, chiseled features. No one's going to argue with the fact that he's a fairly low body fat in this movie and uh, probably pretty close to ideal as far as making sure your facial features are prominent without, you know, severely depriving yourself of nutrients and getting too, too low of a body fat that's unsustainable and unhealthy looking. Moving forward up to Tropic Thunder in 2008, I think that's the only movie I can think of off the top of my head where he gained weight for the role and, you know, significantly altered his appearance in order to look worse, essentially. And obviously the hair loss is going to contribute to his look as well. But, you know, as you can see here, the facial features are a lot more shrouded, a lot less ideal of a look in terms of showing cheekbones, jawline especially. It kind of just blends into the neck a lot more and the gut hanging over is is uh, not a good look either, but just in terms of a facial aesthetics context, gaining weight doesn't do any favors once you're above, you know, 10 to 12% body fat, unless you have a naturally very chiseled face that doesn't seem to hold, preferentially doesn't store a lot of body fat. Everyone has their own trouble spots that store body fat more than others. But in most cases, I feel like facial aesthetics are typically maxed out around the 10% area. And it's at least a sustainable body fat to stay at year round without severely depriving yourself. 10 to 12 percent i feel is sustainable even for naturals not for just enhanced individuals and moving forward just a year later after 2008 in 2009 tom was uh you know back to his old self lean again and as you see this is you know 13 years later after mission impossible one and his face is you know super lean again chiseled obviously he looks a little bit older than in mission impossible one which is expected with 13 years of extra age on him but the chiseled facial facial features are all right back there jawline showing cheekbones prominent everything is you know maxed out in that regard and it's another example of how much of a difference increasing your body fat can have on your facial aesthetics and then how getting lean again is you know brings you right back there so ideally you would just stay lean year round obviously these guys have a reason to gain weight for roles and that's why they make such good examples of what kind of a difference it can actually make when you lose fat so tom cruise known as a good looking actor obviously you can go to from being good looking to having nearly unrecognizable facial features once you gain not that much fat it's pretty easy to actually get to that point where it severely hinders your attraction and i'm just trying to outline how much of a difference getting lean has and getting lean in general is going to be healthy for all aspects of your life we're not trying to get to a point where we're depriving ourselves so much that it's an unsustainable practice year round but we're getting just lean enough that we're maximizing facial features without having to get to a point of being in a steep deficit year round and potentially causing micronutrient deficiencies because that's not a trade-off you want to have to make in order to get lean so i'm going to give one more example and that's going to be matthew mcconaughey so matthew has gone through several transformations over the years you know obviously being known for his appearance in Magic Mike and other appearances where he's known for having a pretty decent physique. And he obviously is known as one of the attractive actors in the industry. And just looking at his transformation from this movie, for example, was back in 2009 and probably a healthy level of body fat here. Chiseled features are still pretty apparent. Lean, not looking too far gone, not looking too fluffy either. Everything's kind of at a happy medium and it's probably a sustainable, healthy, you know, body composition to walk around at year round. And I don't think anyone would argue that this looks like a good level of body fat. Now moving towards 2012, apparently he had to drop around 40 pounds for his new role as somebody who's diagnosed with HIV. And as you can see, just because he's leaner, it doesn't contribute to him looking any better. There's a point where you just look deprived and way too skinny and gaunt. And this is where just because your face is leaner, it doesn't look necessarily better despite the fact that there's less actual fat on your body. As you can see here, this doesn't look like a healthy look to maintain year round. And he obviously would benefit from packing on some weight after that. And shortly thereafter in 2014, there's a clip of him back at a healthy body fat. And you can see facial features is filled out again. He looks like he has a healthy amount of muscle on his frame. Cheekbones are still prominent, jawline still there. And this is a healthier, better looking level of body fat, probably around, you know, the 10 to 12% mark or something like that, maybe closer to 14. Like I'm sure not all these celebrities walk around at 10% year round, but still the point of the matter is 
walking around at, you know, sub 8% year round, especially as a natural is not sustainable, nor is it healthy. And you're going to be depriving yourself of major micronutrients and calories in general. And you're going to feel like crap all the time and look malnourished. And when you hit that happy medium, it allows you to actually maintain prominent facial features without having to put yourself into that you've gone too far category. And moving forward to a more recent role in the movie Gold, you can see here he actually packed on a significant amount of weight for that role. And the difference is staggering in his facial aesthetics. All of his prominent facial features are shrouded. The cheekbones are starting to get covered up. The neck, in particular, the jawline area has taken the biggest hit, which is pretty typical. Face is a lot more round, a lot less angular with prominent facial features, and it just contributes to a much lesser aesthetic look in terms of actual attraction. You have that double chin look, the jaw is just melted into your neck, and you can't see it whatsoever. And this is just another example of somebody who's gone from not as extreme as Christian Bale, but pretty extreme in the gaining weight as as well as losing weight and an example of where the happy medium lies where you aren't going to be hindering your quality of life in order to maximize how attractive you are and i would advise anybody to you know the first thing they want to do if they're trying to maximize their sex appeal if you have fat to lose just clean up your diet and get in the gym like for real that's the number one thing you can do you can do it very quickly within a few months you can get down to a much healthier and more attractive looking body composition and i would highly recommend if you've never cut down to 10 to 12 percent you give it a try because i've literally heard of guys doing crazy things like going in for you know facial reconstruction surgery jaw implants and all these things before they've tried getting lean i highly recommend before you do anything crazy you go in the gym Get your ass in the gym, get on a consistent, good diet plan, hit your micronutrients and your macronutrient allotments, and get down to 10 to 12% body fat, and then make an educated guess at that point if you still think you need surgery, because I highly doubt that you really know what's underneath your face, because most guys, they're severely underestimating how attractive they can actually be if they actually just, you know, stuck to a diet plan and improve their quality of life with lifestyle changes. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see other videos about improving your overall quality of life, performance, anything and everything men's lifestyle related. I highly advise you subscribe to the channel, drop a like, drop a comment if you don't mind. It really helps the algorithm and I appreciate it when you guys do that. Check me out on Instagram at moreplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Also subscribe to the newsletter if you want to be notified every time an article goes live with the clinical studies and trials that I reference in my videos, in my more pharmacology intensive videos. Those ones are always professionally broken down with table of contents and scientific references cited in each of them. Them. So some incentive for you to sign up to the newsletter if you want to get informed when that content goes live. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.